Hi, my name is Carsten Beinecke. I'm the CEO of AC Plant Consult. In this video I show you Plant Reporter, one of our plant tools. Plant Reporter allows you to create all kinds of lists. Plant Reporter can be used on any machine which has access to your project. You do not need to have AutoCAD PNRD or AutoCAD Plant 3D or any other Autodesk application for that matter installed on your machine. Plant Reporter is easy to use. Select your project, next your report, and whether you want your reports from your overall project or just some drawings. Then you click on Preview or Print Export to create your report. Just double click on the report and it will be opened. Besides reports, in a tabular style, you can create reports in a spec sheet style as well. For example, a pump spec sheet, which shows one pump per page. You see all the data of one pump on a single page. A bill of material can be created as well. Here you see a metric bill of material because it's a metric project. If you want to create a new report, you can use an existing report as a template. But let's create a new report from scratch. We select new and we want to create a new blank report. Type in the name of your report. Let's create a pump list which later contains only the pumps of your project. The first step is to define a query. We see the classes as we are used to in AutoCAD PNRD or AutoCAD Plan 3D. For our example, we select the pumps. We can order and filter data if needed. Let's order by tag. If you use filter expressions, you can check if the result is to your liking. If you are done with the query, we can close the user interface. Next, we create the layout. If you want, you can use the wizard. Firstly, you select your properties. For example, the tag, description, manufacturer, weight, maybe flow capacity and power. Then we click on next. In this example we don't need to group, so just click on next. Then we want a tabular layout and a landscape orientation. Now we select the style, in this case bold. Now we need the title of our report, which is also pump list. Then we are done. Now you see the layout created by the wizard. Let's make some modifications. For example, the text style. Arial. Let's shrink that, because we need a little bit space for our project name. You see here all the fields which are avail available because of your query. And this also includes the project properties, like the project name. This is what I need. I drag and drop the field here into my report, stretch it, 
Again, select my style or font, the size, and bold. And now I can also modify the column headers. It should be tag. description and so on. Of course you also can add or remove existing columns if you like. The wizard just is a starting point. And last power. Okay. You always can switch to a preview window which uses the data created by the query and check how the layout looks. Just click on preview and you see the result and switch back to the designer. If we are done with the layout we leave the designer window and of course save the changes. Next we select the type of target. In this example, we select the PDF format. The location and the file name can be created by using variables. There is a bunch of variables available. For this presentation, I put the report on my desktop. And I add the variable RCF, which is the name of our report configuration. Now we are done and we can print the report we just created. It cannot be any easier. Thanks for listening and take a look at our other videos too.